Hi everyone and welcome back to Liz Sews. I recently finished off this bra and I think the thing that it really needs now is some cute little ribbons. I'm thinking one in the center front and maybe a couple over here by the straps. Now you can certainly purchase uh, bows and lingerie ribbons from most bra making suppliers, but it's really, really easy to make your own as well. The first thing you're going to need is some ribbon. I buy this 10 yard roll from Joanne Fabrics and I think I pay probably under a dollar for it. So for under a dollar, I can have more ribbons than I could possibly ever need for my bras and they come in a wide variety of colors. Also take a look at the width of your ribbon. Now I think this one, let's see, this one is a quarter of an inch. Personally, I think quarter of an inch makes a perfect size for lingerie bows, but if you like something a little beefier, go ahead and use that as well. When choosing ribbon, I would definitely recommend getting a synthetic fiber ribbon, something that is polyester based, just because of the way that we're going to be finishing this in the end of the tutorial. Uh, so the, the finishing method won't necessarily work with a silk or natural fiber ribbon. So once you have your polyester ribbon selected, you are also going to need a fork from your kitchen. And lastly, we're going to need a lighter for finishing off the ends. So when picking out your fork, you want something that the, the width of a fork will end up being the finished width of your ribbon. So I really like these three quarters of an inch ribbons or one inch ribbons. I think they look perfect on lingerie. So that's the size fork that I've selected. I'm also going to cut off about, let's say, 10 inches or so of ribbon. This is way more than you're going to need for your bow, but I always find it's easier to have extra than not enough. I'm just gonna set these aside for now. So when I pick up my fork and I want the tines of my fork facing towards me, and I'm going to lay my ribbon on top of the fork like so. Then I'm just going to hold it into place with my thumb. I want a little bit excess of that ribbon sticking over the end and I can always trim that down later, but I can't obviously add more ribbon onto it after the fact. So I add the ribbon on top of my fork and then I'm going to wrap it underneath and back around. And then once it's back around, again, I wanna move my thumb so that I'm holding onto the ribbon as a whole. So then we're going to go through the middle tine above the ribbon here. Make sure you don't pull it all the way through. You wanna leave yourself a little loop and you come underneath and back up around through the middle tine on the bottom. And then you just want to pull the ribbon through that loop hole that we left. And now you can pull it tight. And what you have is your little finished bow here. So at this point you can sort of like manipulate it around, give things an extra pull, make things, make sure everything is really tight. And once you have something that looks good, you can go ahead and trim off your ends. I'm thinking that looks pretty good for me. And to finish it up, we just need the lighter. So because this is a synthetic material, it's polyester, it's basically plastic, we can bring it close to a flame of the lighter and sort of melt the ends of it and that will prevent it from unraveling in the future. So I don't stick this directly into the flame. I just sort of bring it close to the flame and you can start seeing it melt and shrivel up. And then I just tap it lightly with my finger. It does not get too hot for me, but of course I have been working in the food industry for quite a long time. So my fingers are pretty uh, immune to heat, but I just like to make sure that I'm getting like a nice melt along the entire edge of that cut, cut ribbon. I'm gonna do that again for the other side. Just bringing it close to the flame and you can start seeing it sort of curl up and melt and that means that you won't have any unraveling. So now you can go ahead and add your ribbons to your bra and make cute little dainty girly pieces. I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you next time. Take care. Mm -hmm.